guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel today i planned a short impression video about the new Kiko unexpected paradise collection so listen guys i tried to buy from each product range one product um and i got nearly from each product range one product the only thing i don't have are the brushes the nail polish the dry oil and the spf i think Reasons for that, I have gel nails, I don't need nail polish, brushes, I have so many, no need to review them, I think, or if you have an impression about them. Then the next thing, dry oil, I have the Fenty one, I'm good, I don't use it that often, would be really a waste of money. And the next one about the SPF, I have like 100 SPF at home, which I really like, and I don't really see the use of getting me the SPF. Yeah. By the way guys, I will also give you some swatches products. Hi guys, editing Laura here. I just wanted to inform you that I decided to put the swatches of the products at the very end of the video. So it kind of goes better with the flow. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching and have fun watching the rest of the video. Bye bye. Swatches will be one finger swipe for the eyeshadows, two fingers for the bronzer the blush and the highlighters and then of course i will also tell you my honest opinion at the end of the video and what i think you should get from this collection what is worth the price what is okay and what is absolutely not good so i hope you enjoyed today's video and we will get right into it so i will use i already primed my face i used i used the hydro glow base from etude house again you know me, I have to get this finished. And now I'm using the Waterproof Fluid Foundation SPF 30 in the lightest shade. And I will just... Wait, or make, do I make it like this? Yes, I will just put it up like here and here. So the lightest shade is called Porcelain. They have eight other shades, which is really bad. Now we know it all, like nowadays, really makeup brands need to do not even nowadays always actually a, a, a wider change rate for people also with deeper skin types but I think makeup brands really don't listen like they don't care right? like it's very it's not as liquidy as I expected it to be and I will just use the foundation brows and hump on me and put it in my skin now let's see how this works So far so good. So I'm just putting it like I just get it like a little bit in and then I just press it a little bit under my eyes. Oh yeah, I don't have a concealer but I think today I leave out the concealer and I leave out the contouring. I just came home from my Chinese course and then I went to Cosway Bay. <laughs> <laughs> to Kiko um, the, the foundation is by the way scented but it's not a, a bad scent I just prefer when things like makeup is okay I just prefer when my skincare products don't have that much scent it has a very natural finish like the coverage is not very high it's fluid foundation SPF O. 30 Ufa Ufa Bay with hyaluronic acid perfecting and smoothing per effect water resistant yeah it doesn't have like the highest coverage I have the feeling it does not meant to be that high coverage but it looks and feels good so far I like it like I'll let you know I will it's now wait let me check it's not 250 I will wear this till the end of the day which will be like around 11 12 that's when I go to bed and I put my makeup maybe a little bit before off so I do some skincare and then I will let you know how the foundation wears during the day so yes the next thing I want to just um, going and using the bronzer for that I use my favorite bronzing brush which is also from Kiko but it's so old I really don't know what's the name of it like it's all gone and I will just put it in and start bronzing here
it's really big and it smells like coconut <laughs> reminds me a little bit of the physician's formula one which i love it's my favorite bronzer guys it looks really beautiful it gives you a nice bronzy glow all over the skin if you're looking for that i think it's also easy to blend beautiful like i don't like those harsh lines like i just want to be a little bit contoured a little bit more glow a little bit more tan on the face and i'm good to go but i really like this this looks really nice yes it smells really wonderful <laughs> it smells really wonderful the next thing i will do is now the is it no it's the wrong one the next thing i'm now gonna do is the blush i always say brush why i don't know it's a fairly neutral color they are called the 3d blushes press blush i think they are like infused with something as i saw it enriched with mango powder and coconut scented i can smell it's really coconut scented and i will just take a color pop brush which one is that wow like i can't tell you any brush but it's still like blush blush <laughs> and i put it here and i put it right this is really pigmented this blush is pigmented crazy which i don't mind i love blush anyways A little bit and I put it up here too under my eyes guys this is pigmented but it's very pretty so if you don't like extreme blush then you really have to go in with a light hand like for me I don't care I love blush but for people who don't like extreme blush this can be very intense <laughs> like this can be very intense for people who don't like extreme blush use a light hand and then we have the highlighter oh, i need a brush so there i have so for the highlighter of course i choose chose the lightest one which is light of venus very beautiful and it's that champagne golden shade we, i will put it here oh wow oh wow I put it up here. I put it up here. It's by the way, I'm using the Screen Queen 133 Lux Powder Fusion Brush from Soeva. And this highlighter is beautiful. Wow. It is absolutely not glittery, it is shimmery and it's beautiful i mean i guess everybody has already five million highlighters like that i will put it all over i will put it here and here a little bit here but this is a beautiful highlighter wow and it's so intense wow 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 well, i'm impressed wow do you see that glow? Wow! Wow, this is really, really, really good. I didn't know Kiko has so good highlighters. Now, listen, I will do now my eyebrows and then we keep going with the eyes. So, see you right. So, yeah, guys, I was lazy. I just used the Etude House Brow Womanizer and call it a day. I'm back and I will do the eyeshadows. Now, listen, I have like, I told you I have three, I have one per purple one lilac moon then i have sand view and choose to shine so i think i will do more one eye i will apply the the purple one on the other eye the goldish the more goldish shades and then i will zoom you in i hope that's okay so the purple one looks like this it has like this shimmery reflect inside very very beautiful so i will just take my finger but i have chosen the other one and apply it on top wow did you see that wow 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 it's so reflective oh my god it's all over my lid 
I, by the way, I set my lid to before I used the Fenty uh, primer. Wow, the reflections. Wow. Guys, I mean, that's beautiful, guys. Don't you see that? That purple reflects with blue. Beautiful. I, I got a brush just to kind of make the edges not that harsh. Wow. And then I will use the more the, the shades. I have a darker shade and a lighter one. I will first apply the darker shade, which has sold out nearly. Like I got the last one. It's called Choose to Shine. If you really like it, you should get it as soon as possible. Wow. I love those eyeshadows. So it's really pretty. Look at this. Wow. Wow, I'm so impressed with the metallic eyeshadows. Wow, beautiful. And I will put a little bit of sand view on top of it. But I'm so flashed right now by these products. Like they're also on the, on the fingers, so buttery. Wow. <laughs> wow, do you see that shine? Like this is what I call metallic. I put it here on top a little bit. Like really, really lightly, so I have it under my eyebrows. Wow. This is, by the way, a Kali brush, which was part of her collection in her palette, I think. So I smoked them out both. This is so beautiful. Like, you have a good eye look with one swipe. You don't need, like, this is perfect for every day if you just want to have something on your eyes and you don't want to spend like one hour in front of the mirror but you still want to have something you just have one swipe with your little finger and then you have already a cute look so we will continue with the mascara i bought and this is the what does it say i think you can do something like the person showed me but i forgot already the twist brush two-in-one mascara with twisting system so we apply that now i don't know the salesperson in the store showed me and i don't really oh oh you can see this like it kind of gets smaller when i twist it which is weird what effect should that have okay i need a bigger mirror for applying my mascara and let's do that then so i put it up like that i didn't curl my lashes today because a girl is lazy i love the brush by the way but i can't talk what oh my god what is happening to me but i don't get the twist because how can i apply it when i'm twisting like does it stay oh it stays so i twisted it and now it's like in this more curly form i don't know how to express this but before the little like silicone bristles there they were all in one row and now they are kind of like more in different directions which is very innovative i think and i guess it is to kind of get more uh, lashes In a way, it's not a bad mascara. I wouldn't have just been the need for mascara, to be honest. Um, the mascara is okay. It's not my favorite mascara, but it's also not bad. It makes the lashes very long. It also kind of separates them well. It's okay. I don't think it will be my favorite, though. I have my favorites always. And then, my dear friends, I have two liners. I have a blue one and I have a more brown one. And I guess I will put the brown one here and I will put the blue one here. So those eye marker are apparently water resistant and they are coming in four shades and I have shades two and three. And as I said, I don't think I'm able to put my freaking eyeliner on on camera i'm so so sorry so i will just do it like this 
I have now done the eyeliner here. Like the tip, it is a little bit thick. Like you really have to, you can't put on a precise eyeliner with this. Like if you just want a thin line, I think it's nearly impossible. You can, uh, but if you use a little bit too much pressure, I'm showing you. If you use a little bit too much pressure, it is getting thick you see this is like when you really just lightly pull it over um it is very pigmented like this was one stroke this was one stroke crazily good pigmented if they're really water resistant i have to get the black one i guess and now i'm putting on the blue one on this eye and for the blue one it is also very pigmented yeah fold on why not so I put now the blue one on this side, but the brown one on this side. So far it looks very very pretty. I really like it. When I look in the mirror, if I see something, my foundation looks okay, I guess. Um, I think... I think during the day, guys, when I look at my foundation, this foundation will be a little bit too drying for me. Now guys, we are coming to the lip products. And now I told you guys, I have two lipsticks and one lip liner. So I will do this. I will apply the lip liner, put on the lipstick, remove it and put on the other lipstick. So I will go with the number one first. So this is the lip liner. What are they saying about the lip liner? Is it here? The lip liner says... 12 hours of wear water resistant so let's see that I hope the color suits me I'm like a little bit nervous if I choose the wrong color for me I'll just line my lips it's a very peachy color it's a little bit light I don't know if it's perfect for me I think it's a little bit like I think the liner is a little bit dry and I don't think the color suits me <laughs> I don't know who suits this color then and I put on the lipstick now which is also called said to be long lasting lipstick 12 hours non transfer matte lipstick and I will apply it and show you guys no the color is horrendous and it really emphasizes I think you can't see it yes you can see it like the lines on my lips because they're a little bit dry it really, really sits there it's also very blotchy and hard to it looks horrible like it's very very not like smooth I can see my lips shining through in some areas oh my god I have to get rid of this this is a no <laughs> this is a no I got rid of this horrendous lipstick I have to just reapply a little bit and I hope that the other shade is better this is horrible this is shade number two it's also two hours long wear lipstick and let's try this it's more on the pinky side so i have good expectations yes can already see this is way better way better way better like i kind of like overdraw my lip a bit down there this color is way better oh it fell down never mind it is way better looks much better it's also not like emphasizing my dry lips so much or the lines on my lips looks really smooth the texture 
it's very very like smooth and it's absolutely not dry yeah i think this is cute i think <laughs> just this co other color is horrible on me so and then i have another product and it's the lip topper and it's this coppery cleary shade and i will just apply it on top of this one bit of extra sparkle so it looks already pretty in the camera yes I like this just adding this sheer glossiness to your lips and it makes you look more juicy which I like in summer so guys my hair my bangs are crazy I have to get my hair on at least my bangs done and then I come right back to you to tell you my final thoughts about this collection so guys so this is my final look and um, I did my bangs and I'm back now what I want to say so the products which have like really impressed me so far are the eyeshadows I think if you get only one thing from the whole collection get the freaking metallic eyeshadows they are beautiful they are really pretty they are intense they give you your eyes that sparkle the next thing i really liked is the highlighter it is beautiful i mean it's a basic highlighter it's very intense though it's still very beautiful even though it's basic you, if you have already a highlighter like this you probably don't need it however the shine is there i have to say i really like it i would have probably bought it and what i also really like is the bronzer because i think for the money you still get a lot of product i i like the finish of it i think it gives gives the perfect bronzy glow it's not orange it has like the perfect consistency looks really good and the next thing I also like is the topper I think I would also recommend that what I think you not especially have to get are the lipsticks I don't think they're like that impressive I don't mind them I don't think they're bad I just think the one color is really horrible like I don't know who can wear a color like that but probably there will be people <laughs> I like the mascara it's okay I like the eyeliner so far it's okay for the foundation as I said I can't say anything I really have to wear it all over the a, a whole day long to give you my honest opinion and I think it's a decent collection like so far there was no product I can say like was like horrible and I think it looks cute and I will use those products very often so yeah guys anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you like today's review please leave me a comment or a like down below and tell me what is your favorite product if you like this collection and i hope to see you next time bye bye Thank you.